Early Life Holy person Catherine Labouré was brought into the world at Fain les Mautiers, Burgundy, France to the rancher Pierre Labouré, the tenth of eleven kids. At the point when Catherine was nine years of age, her mom passed on October the 9th, 1815. Pierre's sister recommended that she care for his two most youthful youngsters, Catherine and Toy, and after he concurred, the sisters moved to their auntie's home at saint Ari emmy Côte d'Or saint Ari emmy a town nine kilometers from their home, into the Daughters of Charity. As a young lady she turned into an individual from the Congregation of the Daughters of Charity, a local area established by St. Vincent de Paul. She was amazingly faithful, of a fairly heartfelt nature. She picked the Daughters of Charity after a fantasy about St. Vincent. Having lost her mom at an early age she was exceptionally attached to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Apparition The evening of July 19, 1830, the feast of St. Vincent de Paul, she woke up in the wake of hearing a voice of a kid calling her to the church, where she heard the Virgin Mary say to her, God wishes to accuse you of a mission. You will be gone against, however don't fear, you will have the elegance to do what is important. Tell your spiritual director all that passes inside you. Times are malevolent in France and on the planet. On November the 27th, 1830, Catherine detailed that the Blessed Mother returned during evening reflections. She showed herself inside an oval edge, remaining upon a globe wearing many rings of various tones, the greater part of which focused beams of light over the globe. Around the edge of the casing seemed the words O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recrouse to you. As Catherine watched, the edge appeared to turn, showing a circle of twelve stars, a huge letter M overcomes by a cross, and the adapted sacred heart of Jesus and sacred heart of Mary under. Inquired as to why a portion of her rings didn't reveal insight, Mary purportedly answered those are the graces for which individuals neglect to ask. Catherine then, at that point, heard Mary request that she take these pictures to her dad inquisitor, letting him know that they ought to be put on emblems. All who wear them will get extraordinary graces. Catherine did as such, and following two years of examination and perception of Catherine's typical day-by-day -day conduct, the cleric took the data to his diocese supervisor without uncovering Catherine's character. The solicitation was endorsed and medals started to be delivered. They ended up being incredibly famous. The precept of the Immaculate Conception wasn't true yet. However the medal with its conceived without sin motto was presumably powerful in well-known endorsement of the thought. Pope John Paul II utilized a slight variety of the opposite picture as his crest, a plain cross with a M under the right-hand crossbar. Catherine experienced her excess years as a normal sister. She was charming and popular with patients and her kindred nuns. Not long before her passing, she uncovered that she was the sister to whom the Blessed Mother had given the pictures for the medals. Unearthed in 1933, her body was found incorrupt, and it currently lies in a glass casket along the edge-raised area of 140 Rue du Bac, Paris, one of where the Blessed Mother appeared to her. She was consecrated on July 27, 1947, by Pope Pius XII. Miraculous Medal The dedication usually known as that of the Miraculous Medal owes its starting point to Sister Catherine, to whom the Blessed Virgin Mary seemed three separate occasions in the year 1830, at the mother place of the local area at Paris. The first of these apparitions happened on 18th of July, the second on 27th of November, and the third a brief time frame later. On the subsequent event, Sister Catherine records that the Blessed Virgin showed up as though remaining on a globe, and bearing a globe in her two holy hands. As though from rings set with valuable stones astonishing beams of light were radiated from her fingers. 
These, she said, were images of the graces which would be offered on all who requested them. Sister Catherine adds that around the figure seemed an oval edge bearing in brilliant letters the words O Mary conceived without sin, pray for us who have recrouse to you, on the back seemed the letter M, overcomes by a cross, with a crossbar underneath it, and under the sacred hearts of Jesus and Mary, the previous encompassed by a crown of thistles, and the last pierced by a sword. At the second and third of these dreams an order was given to have a decoration struck after the model uncovered, and a guarantee of extraordinary graces was made to the individuals who wear it when favoured. After cautious examination, M. Allardyle, the profound head of Sister Catherine, got in the endorsement of manager D. Quille, Archbishop of Paris, and on June 30, 1832, the main awards were hit and with their conveyance the commitment spread quickly. Perhaps the most surprising fact recorded regarding the miraculous medal is the transformation of a Jew, Alphos Rotispo of Strasbourg, who had opposed the allures of a companion to enter the church. M. Rotispo assented, fairly hesitantly, to wear the medal, and being in Rome, he entered, by some coincidence, the congregation of Satandria del Frat and observed in a dream the Blessed Virgin precisely as she is addressed on the apparition, his transformation rapidly followed. This reality has gotten ministerial assent, and is recorded in the workplace of the blowout of the miraculous medal. In 1847, M.E.T., predominant general of the congregation of the mission, acquired from Pope Pius IX the advantage of setting up in the schools of the Sisters of Charity a confraternity under the title of the Immaculate Conception, with every one of the extravagances connected to a comparable society set up for its understudies at Rome by the Society of Jesus. This confraternity embraced the miraculous medal as its identification, and the individuals, known as the Children of Mary, wear it appended to a blue lace. On July 23, 1894, Pope Leo XIII, after a cautious assessment of the multitude of realities by the Sacred Congregation of Rites, organized a banquet, with an exceptional office and mass, of the manifestation of the Immaculate Virgin under the title of the Miraculous Medal, to be commended yearly on November 27 by the priests of the Congregation of the Mission, under the custom of a twofold of the second class. For ordinaries and strict networks who might request the advantage from praising the celebration, its position is to be that of a twofold significant gala. A further declaration, dated September 7, 1894, allows any minister to say the mass appropriate to the feast in any sanctuary connected to a place of the 